Once in a while I see questions popping up on the Stepcraft Facebook group about the HF500. Is it worth buying? Is it durable? Is it reliable? Before anything, I recommend you download and read the user manual. It will already address some of your questions. There's one important topic in the manual called intended use that describes that this is not a professional spindle, that it's not meant for heavy usage. This video is not an ad. It only represents my opinions and experience with the spindle from using it for the past two years. I will also try to give some tips on how you can get started using it. When you buy this spindle you'll get a control unit, the spindle itself, a connection cable, the ER11 nut and the tool to tighten it. I recommend you also get the exhaust adapter and you'll need to buy the collets for the end mills you want to use. There's different diameters from 1 to 8 millimeters. You will also need to get some end mills. When I bought my Stepcraft system, I ordered an assortment of different end mills and engraving bits. For the rest of this video, we will use a 2mm single flute end mill. Setup is really easy. Connect the spindle and connection cable to the control box and the connection cable to your Stepcraft. Then install the spindle in the holder and turn the control box on. You can use the button to test the manual operation of the spindle to make sure everything is working. In the manual, we will find the table with the approximate RPM for the settings of the control box. Let's see how well this match with reality. Now let's get to milling. Again I recommend you consult the manual. You will find a table with the maximum feeds and speeds for different kinds of end mills. You should consider these, but my advice is to start way below the maximum values. I say this from experience as a complete beginner who broke a few end mills. So I'm going to suggest some more conservative values to start with. To start off with, I've chosen a piece of pine. One millimeter per pass is really easy for a two millimeter end mill. Onto a slightly harder piece of wood. I'm using what I think is a piece of cedar. It feels much harder than the pine. I've only gone with 0.5 mm per pass. Now to try in acrylic. With acrylic the main concern is heat. You don't want to stay too long in the same area, you want to move as fast as possible and cut conservatively. If you cut too much or move too slow, the end mill will start to melt the plastic and ruin the parts. Finally in aluminium. I'm using 6082T6 aluminium, which is quite hard, so I'm choosing to cut 0.1mm per pass. So, what has my experience with the spindle been like? So far, it has done everything it should do. It has been working without issues for the past two years. But would I buy it now? Would I recommend it to someone else? Well, to better answer that question, let's look at what Stepcraft has to offer in their shop. Back when I bought mine, there weren't as many alternatives. But now you can buy an MM1000, a Cress or an AMB for quite less money. They have twice the power, and with the AMB, you can even retain the ability to control the spindle from the software. The HF500 is very convenient in its integration with the rest of the Stepcraft system, but I think today I would choose one of the more powerful and cheaper alternatives. I hope this video was informative, and that it helps you if you're thinking about buying one. 